Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make an easy no-bake pineapple dream dessert. I've always been obsessed with these no-bake desserts and this pineapple dream dessert is pretty up there. It's creamy, fluffy, and so delicious and perfect for the springtime. So let's get started. We're gonna begin by draining out all the juice of a 20 ounce can of crushed pineapple. And as you can see here today, my son is so excited that I'm making a dessert. I placed the crushed pineapple onto a small strainer and I'm using the back of a spoon to kind of push down to extract most of the juice out of it. In a bowl, I have about one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, which I crushed in a food processor, which equals to about 12 sheets of graham crackers. And I'm gonna stir in a half cup of melted butter and a third cup of sugar. And I'm gonna mix until everything is well combined. I didn't wanna waste the pineapple juice, so Bradley is actually drinking it. Make sure you get the pineapples in 100% juice and not that extra sweetened stuff. I'm gonna transfer the graham cracker mixture onto the bottom of a nine by nine inch baking dish, but you could use any size kind of similar to this. And I'm just gonna push down with my spoon to form a nice crust. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, please like and subscribe so that you can support me and continuing to share simple and delicious recipes with you guys. When the crust is nice and smooth, I'm gonna place it into the refrigerator while I make my filling. In a bowl, I have a softened eight ounce bar of cream cheese and I'm gonna to mix together a half cup of softened butter. Once that's well combined, I'm gonna add two cups of powdered sugar. I'm just such a huge fan of no-bake desserts. I have so many variations of them because they're light, refreshing, and so delicious, everybody loves them. Now I'm gonna fold in the crushed pineapple I drained earlier. I also love how this recipe uses canned pineapple, which makes it super easy to whip up since I had most of the ingredients already in my pantry. Now in increments, I'm gonna gently fold in an eight ounce container of Cool Whip. I'm gently folding it in because I want the mixture to stay nice and fluffy. My favorite part is licking the bowl after this because it's just that good. I get dibs on the bowl and my son gets the spoon. Once that's all well combined, I'm gonna pour it over the graham cracker crust and I'm gonna go ahead and smooth everything down. And we're pretty much almost done. We just have to refrigerate it for a few hours or overnight. And that's another thing I love about this recipe. You can make this the day before you serve it and it's one less thing you have to do the next day. And it's looking nice and smooth. One thing I like to do is grab a napkin and kind of clean up the edges. It's all about presentation, right? Okay, it's been sitting in the refrigerator and now it's time Ooh, for us to enjoy oh it. God, I like it. Mm, here, you take this one. I'll take this one. Wait, 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 we're gonna cheers, we're gonna cheers. 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 Mmm, that's yummy. You like it? If you guys enjoyed this dessert, don't forget to check out all my other simple and delicious no-bake dessert recipes. Please like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. I make cooking videos weekly. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.